the plan wouldn't have been to turn to Bernardo Silva barely 10 minutes after half-time against West Ham on Wednesday night. This was a much-needed rest for the Portuguese midfielder, on the back of 90 minutes in Joel Sankachin against Shaki last Wednesday, and then 120 minutes against Chelsea at Wembley on Sunday. But the problem with having the kind of season that Bernardo is having is that you quickly become a key figure. The 24-year-old's influence is felt on the pitch, and it's felt when he's not on it as well. As City struggled to break down the hammers Bernardo was the man called for, replacing a player usually earmarked as a certainty for these occasions in Leroy Sane. Within a couple of minutes the substitute had won a penalty and City were ahead, nerves east. Picking City's player of the season is a task fraught with danger, given the quantity of candidates. Raheem Sterling might have topped many a poll after the Carabao Cup final, but Bernardo has to be in the discussion. No City player has improved to the degree he has this season. The former Monaco playmaker has filled the void left by Kevin De Bruyne's injuries this term, seamlessly replacing the Belgian in City's midfield. With De Bruyne back recently, Bernardo has regularly been fielded out wide instead. That speaks volumes for Pep Guardiola's desire to keep him involved, and for the influence he feels he has on this team. City are still fighting on three fronts this season, but with ten league games to go they are also close to booking a spot in the Champions League quarter-finals, and have a favourable draw in the last eight of the FA Cup. But the time for rotation has passed. Guardiola told his players to forget about tiredness before the game with West Ham and Bernardo might just have made himself one of the first names on the team sheet for the run-in. Whether it's in a wide position or through the middle, he has so often made City tick this season. The role numbers don't do him justice, with nine goals and six assists he isn't one of City's top three contributors in either departments. But he has been the cock for Guardiola's side, the player linking it all together. Guardiola's admiration for him is clear. He has absolutely everything, the city boss said recently. Quote first, because he's a lovely person, I love to work with him, especially because he never makes a bad face, if he doesn't play, or plays 5, 10 or 20 minutes like last season, always a big smile. In the locker room he's the guy who's the most beloved in our team, and his skills, he can do absolutely everything, he's one of the most talented players I've ever seen in my career as a manager or a player. He's a humble guy, he can play 3 of 4 positions. He's always an 8 or 9, out of 10.
he knows when he doesn't play good it doesn't matter, because he runs the most dot you cannot play every 3 days at the top level, but you can run and run and run, and he does. I think maybe this season he's one of the 2 or 3 best players in the Premier League, because of the amount of minutes he plays, and what he produces, with the ball and assists, goals, how he celebrates the goals, you have to take a look at how he celebrates the goals, whether he scores, or his teammates. Quote, it's the amount of minutes he plays that is key behind Bernardo's rising influence on the city side. He featured in 35 of their 38 Premier League games last season, but having played in 27 of 28 this season he has also played 588 minutes more, the equivalent of six and a half games. Get Man City latest news updates directly to your inbox. Subscribe. Thank you for subscribing.